this exhibition is called What the Shoe Trade Ever Did For Us and um, basically it's a look at certain of the shoe sort of factories and their owners what they did for the town. Um, there are obvious things you know that people know um, such as like Barrett's are really responsible for Barrett's maternity home back in the 1930s but they did an awful lot for the town, sort of all the shoe owners, shoe factory owners. Um, and really it's an investigation into exactly, you know, how they've shaped Northampton and what they've done that's sort of a long-lasting legacy. For this exhibition, the research was all done by the local Northampton U3A group, who put in an awful lot of hours down in our store and archive, researching all these companies and what they actually did for the town. So they've unearthed some really interesting sort of information and facts about. It's quite interesting, they, they, took, they had a list of um, shoe sort of factories and manufacturers um, and obviously over the years some have contributed an enormous lot to the town um, and others not so much. So they whittled it down in the end to about eight firms which they've sort of highlighted in this exhibition uh, from Crockett and Jones to Manfield Barrett's um, and little, perhaps to people, sort of less known um, companies such as Charles and Edward Lewis who actually gave money um, for the town to for have um, Dallington Park, um, which people might not know. Um, and it's really just a look at their sort of long-lasting influence. And even on a just basic level, um, I should think there's an awful lot of people in the town who actually live in a house, in a sort of terrace house that was built originally due to the sort of factories that were being built up in the mounts in particular. So there are lots of images of um, like the fountain in the market square that was um, sort of given to the town, um, lots of pictures of Barrett's maternity to home, the Crockett block. Um, object wise there's, I mean the museum itself was largely funded through shoe manufacturers. So we have the first shoe that was donated to the museum. One of the important things here, we have a little mock-up of a plane with an actual propeller, and that really illustrates the point that Barrett's were one of the first companies, in fact, the first company to instigate air freights of their shoes. Um, and in 1911, actually on the race course in Northampton, the plane flew in, uh, picked up the delivery of shoes, and then flew off to Hendon uh, to deliver them at the other end. The visitors that we've had in have been really varied. I mean, it obviously appeals to a very local audience and sort of local community. And what's been interesting from my sort of perspective is that, I mean, I've spent 13 years within the shoe department, so it's a constant learning process, but there are things that I just assume that people already know, particularly if they live in the town or they've worked in the industry. But it's amazing, we've had a lot of local people who've lived here all their life, and they've come in and they said, we have no idea that Barrett's maternity home was actually paid for by Barrett's, hence, you know, why it's called Barrett's. And you sort of think, you know, that's an amazing sort of achievement that, you know, you're telling people sort of in an interesting way all this sort of new information. We've got disabled access, um, so it's accessible, you know, to those in wheelchairs and obviously to mums and dads during the summer holidays with buggies. The exhibition is on um, until the 6th of November, so there's plenty of time for people to come and have a look round. We're in the centre of town, uh, we're sort of opposite the Derngate Theatre on Guildhall Road. So, you know, if people coming in for shopping or activities on the Market Square, then they can easily pop down here. We're free, so there's no problem, you know, about paying. Everything's totally free in the museum, from this exhibition to all the other exhibitions that we have, including all the footwear galleries.